All right, hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Cup Chasers podcast. Mr. Gianluigi Buffon, I think I've said that right, has retired at the ripe young age of 450,000. <laughs> I think it was 45. It was 45, Legend. yeah. Yep, 45. Legend. I Legend. mean, yep. I can't think of any other long... I mean, is he the longest serving goalkeeper as far yeah. as... I believe so, yeah. Starting all like all the time. I mean, Vandersar went pretty long as well into it's his forties. I mean, because he has played very little, pretty little into his late forties. Yeah, because yeah. he, he went to. Uh, I think he went to Portugal. He was still starting too. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, but longevity of career. career. I, mean, I mean, we've said it in the predictions or in the uh, in the bracket. Like Buffon, even with all my love for Petrček. It's Buffon and Gasius. Like that's hard pick for number one. Possibly the best ever. Pos- all time positional best yeah. ever. Yeah. I think uh, I think he definitely deserves a shout. I mean, was he at Juventus his whole career? His whole no. club career? No. No, no he's he's it. bounced around. Because I know he played. I think he played at Parma early, and which is why he went back right. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. He. Parma, Juventus, PSG, Juventus, Parma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just did a boomerang. He went back to he went one and then PSG <coughs> boomerang to turn around. Loyal. <laughs> yeah. So total he went he did 17 years. That's awesome. From 01 to 2018 at Juventus. He's did one a year in Paris. Two more years back in Juventus. And then two in Parma to end it. Courtney 754 is... appearances. What yeah. an absolute legend. Um, it sucks he never won a Champions League. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That is yeah. sad. That is sad. But, but he won a World, World Cup. Cup. He was <laughs> on that <number six. laughs> Yeah, I was about World to say, Cup. but. Yeah, definitely. I would say probably one of the. You know, I like to give Messi's circumstantial World Cup his dues. If Buffon gets gifted this by ZZ. I like, don't know, man. They, if you recall, only one team scored against Italy in that tournament from open play. Only okay. one team. <laughs> and it wasn't even a real goal. It was an own goal. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. But hey. We, and they, the Italians played dirty in that game, if you recall. Brian McBride had to wear a mask for like a month after that game because he got elbowed in the so. face. I mean, so. VAR. There would have been there would have been a VAR check on that one, if uh, if it was today. I'll I'll tell you that right now. Um, but uh, yeah, 2006 Crazy. World Cup champion. Crazy game. Definitely one of the greats. One of the greats. Sad to see him go. Um, no chance of a comeback to the MLS, you think? <laughs> no. He's done, man. He's going to live uh, life in Italy. I don't know how that man's still diving with them. With Yeah. He made a, he made a crossroads deal. It's just common. <laughs> yeah, just common. Ma- making deals to, uh, you know, to go this far. Um, but I'm sure he'll... Um, We'll probably see him in the Italian media, you think? Oh, yeah. Maybe he'll After... show up for CBS. <laughs> he'll be next to Thierry Henry. Yeah, Thierry and Henry. I wonder if, he, uh, if he'll coach. Maybe a Parma. Like goalie coach? He loves like... Parma. Yeah. Goalie coach for Juve? Maybe. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in Juve this year. Maybe next year. Oh. Yeah. No, but um, yeah, I got a lot of respect. I think that also, you know, his longevity was in, you know, some of the toughest versus some of the toughest, you know, play. That's probably why he never won the Champions League because of the teams he was up against, the guys he was having to, you know, to play against all throughout his career, some of the greatest of all time. You got to think uh, to be at Juve too. Milan's booming, Inter's booming, and then yeah. you have the the whole. He did, play, he did play with Ronaldo. He was on Ronaldo's team. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So he definitely, definitely was there. See, that's um, wild, man. Like, that's wild to think about. Like, again, the longevity of his career and all the guys he's seen both played with and come across. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back, I mean, he started when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. His first season was when I was four years old. So, uh, yeah. I was 10. He's uh, definitely deserved, definitely well well deserves his uh, his rest, whatever it is he's going to go do. Um, I feel like I would just disappear, man. Take take your, take your plaudits, take your, you know, your pat on the back. You right never have to buy sunset. another beer in Italy, like. Yeah, r- right off into the sunset, man. Yeah. You did it. You never, yeah. You never have to yeah, ask for him. Every restaurant's gonna comp your meal, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you can yeah. you can just go. Like <laughs> Yeah, if you want to stay in Italy and just be a, a people's champion, just celebrate it <laughs> everywhere you go. Yeah, why not? Right. Why not? That'd be awesome. Well, there you have it. Cup Chasers tribute to Mr. Gianluigi Buffon. One of the greats. Uh, and Absolutely. if you were a fan just like we were, go ahead and hit the likes, subscribe to the channel, and get that notification bell on. We'll be back real soon.